Right, so I'm here with Flo, and Flo's got a lovely chestnut mare <laughs> who gets very attached to your other other yeah. pony horse. Pony. Yeah, and so we're we're going to look at some ideas about how to uh, alleviate this uh, separation anxiety. Now, in my experience, some horses are more prone to this than others, and it. It's it's not always um, wave a magic wand and, and get this problem fixed. Sometimes it's a matter of managing um, your horse so that they you can get to a competition, compete safely, and get the job done. Can we have a look at her and just start sort of formulating a bit of a plan. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. I think a good place to start will be a little bit of groundwork because we may not be able to stop her from getting a little bit or completely stop her from being anxious about another horse going away. However, we might be able to make her more controllable. Yeah. And if she feels like, okay, this is where I'm at, then at least you guys will be able to control and just keep her, you know, keep her safe, you, you safe. And then the longer that happens, the more likely you are that she'll go, actually I'm all right, instead of pulling you and sort of thinking, I, I really want to get her. Yeah, yeah, take spirit, maybe just round the, out through the gate again. This is practice for going out on a vent. And this is what she would be like on a box mm -hmm. or tied up to the box or yeah. just in hand. She will be pulling you and she won't be able to focus. So I think this is a really good thing to practice. Instantly, spirit's back. Oh, yeah. I'm good, I'm good. So we're gonna do now spirit's back and she's sort of back in the room a little bit. <laughs> you know, she's sort of proper girl, isn't she? She's not yeah. nearly as pretty. So that, that's really interesting. Now what we're gonna do is a little tying up exercise that I like to use. But being able to move your horse over like this is a really important thing. And she's now, she's done it. She hasn't even moved. No. That's fine. Okay. So what I want you to do is just ask her to move back. So Flo, what happens if she decided she didn't like that? Would she get you where you were? Yeah, probably. Yeah. So that's why I have something long. Yeah. So if, if I feel like, because I don't know, I mean, Pete's the most loveliest horse in the world. But when you tell a horse to move like that, some of them will go, don't tell me what to do. So that's why I'm always a little bit, and remember your cueing system? Ask. So you did click, so that means move. Yeah. You might say, well, I said, I click and say, over. And then they go, oh yeah, I'll remember that sequence. Next thing comes is a tap. So they yeah. get clever. Uh, sometimes they hear you say, over, and then they go, oh yeah. yeah. You don't even have to tap. They, yeah. just, they just get it. Right, so, so that's number one. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at something else we can try. So we're gonna have a look at a little bit of ground workflow. And now I've noticed when you led pizza off, your gears were a little bit, were grinding. Yeah. Now when I say gears are grinding, Horses have three basic gears. They have forward, yeah. neutral, and reverse. Yeah. So when you were leading pizza through here, what gear were you in? Forward. Where you go? If she's pulling you. I, I was in like. Yeah, you, you had your hand back like that, didn't you? Yeah. But she was still going forward. Yeah. So what does that do to reverse gear? It makes it very far. Yeah, it does. You've got to go back twice as far, which means she learns to be strong. She goes, you needed to get out of your space. Like, so I 
side though, I don't know. Backward. Backward. So this is slow down, stop, and if you keep pressure on and add energy, well, I can't go that way because that, that this this doesn't mean go forward. Mm. So it must mean the door that door is closed. I've got pressure on my nose. Go back. Yeah. So we're looking at getting a backwards. And that's where you get forwards, pressure on the pole, no pressure, but more pressure on the nose. And that pressure on the nose, as you say, means stop or slow down or even go back. Can you ask her to go back? Yeah, probably can. Okay, show me how you do that. Okay, step back. I'm going to use enough pressure that I think she should step back. So there. I've got pressure on her nose. Can you see that? Yeah. There's pressure there. She's not really doing anything to that. So instead of pulling harder on the nose, I'm going to say, can you move? Good. And look, she's in neutral. Relax. How did that feel? A lot better, a lot it easier. Feels lighter, doesn't it? Yeah. I could, this could be something I could do. I could take her off the box and stand still, but leave the rope on the ground. If she walks, she stands on the rope, I say back up, drop the rope again. And then eventually I want to get to this position where down, cross, and up. And she's going, well, they're not around me. Well, I can't keep standing on the rope and you're bringing the focus. Where's she starting to think about? On you. And then the yeah, where's that rope? I don't want to stand on it. Yeah, we're going to have a look at loading her now and see if we can get her, come up with a technique yeah. to get her to calm down while she's on the box instead of being all fractious. Yeah. How, how is she going to tell us that she wants to be off the box? By moving around and pouring on it. Exactly. So when she's up there thrashing around, She's going, let me out. So you'll say, you can say, well, I'm going to force you to stay here. Yeah. In which case she goes, that makes me feel anxious because I'm claustrophobic and I don't want my mates. Or we can say, I'll tell you what, you can go off, but when you come off, guess what? You have to stand still. Or you have to do some work. Yeah. And guess what happens when you come back on? I'll just leave you alone. Yeah. What am I doing with her up here? Nothing. Very little. So, so, so this is my first port of call. If she was fractious, wanting to come off, I might say, I know what you're thinking. So I'll tell you what, you can come off and you can, you can do what you think is the right thing to do. But when you come off, you're gonna find, push up. Again. See now what's she thinking now? Thinking could go out. Yeah, I'm thinking, can I she's thinking, can I go out? Yeah. Okay. And we're basically trying to teach her, actually, you're in the best possible spot you can you can be. Yeah. Hi everyone, so it's a couple weeks on for our session now, and I found that it's been really useful for pizza. So I've been practicing all of the tips that Jason has given me and I've been using them at home. And then we tried it out when we went to school for a lesson. And when Spirit went away for me to ride him, she was as good as gold standing by the box where normally she would be pacing around and screaming for him. So I'm really happy to say that it worked.